uh, update so that one, you all uh, can get in and out of, um, get out of harm's way. Uh, so we're very conscious about that this morning. If you all can assemble yourselves, that's fine. Come on over this way. We have uh, this morning Director Colin Arnold, who is our Director of Homeland Security, Ramsey Green, Deputy CAO of Infrastructure for the City, Dr. Jennifer Vegno of our Health Department, Chief Sean Ferguson, New Orleans Police Department, Tyrell Morris, Director of the Orleans Parish Communications District, Colonel Bailey, the Louisiana National Guard, Ms. Lauren Nash, the National Weather Service, along with a good complement of our New Orleans City Council that has been uh, Im embedded uh, in my mayoral briefings. At this time, and as it's always been, a unified command approach it has been embedded in the EOC that is fully activated. What we know is Ida is a 155 miles per hour Category 4 hurricane. This is a very dangerous and a very real situation. My message to the community at this time, all of our residents, even visitors who are here, this is the time to stay inside. Do not venture out, no sightseeing. This is very serious. We need you to stay in from this point forward, all morning, all afternoon, all evening. As it relates to Monday morning, we should see some signs uh, that we're moving out of this, but you are not uh, to come out until you receive more information from the city of New Orleans. Now is the time that we have been preparing for and even waiting for as it relates to Hurricane Ida. Again, this is the time. Heed all warnings. Ensure that you shelter in place, you hunker down. We understand that we have residents that are now without power. We do understand that wind miles are over 35 miles per hour, which means that there will be no action, no activity from Intergy New Orleans at this time. Also, as it relates to other responses, the New Orleans Fire Department, we are now on emergency alert. As it relates to 911 calls, you will hear more from our leaders following me. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to ask Colin Arnold, our Director of Homeland Security, to come forth. We'll move through, trying to be as fast as possible again so that everyone can get out of harm's way. Thank you. Colin? Thank you, Morning. We've talked for several days. We've gone over this. This is, this is short and sweet. Hurricane Ida is here. Tropical storm winds have arrived. As Ida moves closer, it is near certainly that we will see sustained winds of 75 miles an, uh, um, per hour or higher, up to 110 miles per hour in New Orleans. Let me be clear, these are life-threatening winds. They will cause down power lines, structure damage, down trees, and projectiles. You absolutely need to be indoors for the remainder of this storm. Hunker down and stay put. We'll be with you through the storm. Text NOLA READY to 77295 for text alerts so you know what's going on throughout the rest of the day. Please understand that public safety officials will likely not be able to respond during dangerous conditions. This will likely include overnight when storm impacts have passed, but debris will still be blocking the roadways. It's dangerous now. It's going to be dangerous this afternoon, even more so because of the wind. It's going to be extremely dangerous overnight because of the wind and because of darkness. They're not going to be able to come to you. You need to stay inside until tomorrow. We'll look at this at the first light of day. Our emergency operations center is activated. I've got 70 people up there. They're risking COVID. They're communicating. They're communicating with everyone outside that is working this. It includes infrastructure, transportation, and human service agencies. We are coordinating response efforts. This will include immediate public safety needs throughout the duration of the storm. But as I said, there's nobody coming right now. You need to stay inside. This will also include response efforts that will begin tomorrow. When we come out tomorrow, we can look at this, take an assessment, figure out where we're at, search and rescue operations, potential post-storm evacuations. We can deal with all that, but now is not that time. Now is the time to stay inside. More information will be made possible through every medium that we have, including the media, primarily the media, when we can do that. 
the most important thing is to stay inside. Thank you.